just the word evangelism can make some of us nervous. We remember being pressured into sharing our faith or maybe awkward conversations with strangers. Maybe we're nervous about being those people who are trying to be coercive or uh, trying to accomplish a task. But evangelism, in simple terms, is simply an extension of the life and love that we have received from God to others, to invite them into the family that we have been invited into ourselves. Evangelism isn't just about winning arguments. It's about loving people. And while a conviction of sin needs to happen, and many times we are in long conversations with people about why Jesus is the one and why he's the Savior, normally that doesn't happen in the first three minutes. It's cultivated out of a life of hospitality where we invite other people into our space, but we're also willing to be invited into other people's lives. Sometimes that's even the harder ask. This month we've been talking about prayer, and that's where this all starts, because even caring about other people who don't know Jesus, or even more, being willing to share our faith, doesn't come naturally, and it's not even logical. It comes from a transformed heart, but God loves to answer that prayer. So when we ask God to help us see others, those that we come in contact with regularly, or even those around the world that we'll never see, He changes our hearts, and also gives us courage to step into their space, even sometimes gives us words to say to people that we're like, where did that come from? So my encouragement to you is that you would be expectant, that God would give you people to talk to and a heart for them, for all of those that you come in contact with regularly and for those who you've not yet met.